Now I want to talk about something that you may or may not have ever encountered. Whenever you do encounter it, you probably won't forget it because you'll think the customer is describing something that's completely impossible to have happen. That's fat spew on leather. We have a product called Spew Remover to take care of this quite easily, but for the consumer that has it, they think this is really a difficult problem. If you look at the piece of leather here, this is what the leather actually looks like. This white milky haze that's on top of the leather is actually fats that have risen from the core of the leather and, and migrated to the surface. You can't just wipe these off like this. Even though they're gone now, tomorrow or the next day they'll reappear. What you have to do is actually remove these fats and also have a product to force them back down into the leather and make sure they don't come back up again. That's what the spew remover does. It's very easy to use. All you need is the right product. You can handle this problem quite easily. We're going to fairly generously just wipe this on the leather. And as we're wiping, we're taking the spew that's off the surface. And as you can see, because the leather is darkening, the product is absorbing in the leather. As it absorbs, it forces the rest of the fats down into the leather and prevents it from reappearing. Now, yesterday I treated this piece. And you can see this is part of the exact same piece of leather here. Now, here's the difference after it's fully dried and it's absorbed into the leather. So you can restore this back to the original color and look. But for the customer that has this, I'm sure they don't understand what's happening. Sometimes people will call us and say they've cleaned their furniture seven or eight times, and this milky film keeps on appearing in it. They think it's dust or something in their house. But it's actually something that's in the leather. This is a fairly rare problem, but when it does occur, we do have the products to handle it.